guys, today I just want to teach you how to quickly change your background or extend it. So first we're going to straighten out the image. Now you're going to take your clone tool with a duplicate layer and clone your background to the edges. To create a duplicate layer, all you need to do is hit Command J on your background layer or Control J on PC. Here I'm just cleaning up a little spot that I noticed. I think that's my finger. Um, it happens sometimes. It's okay. You just clone it out or whatever you need to do to get rid of it. Now I'm just sampling around the image to create more of a smooth gradient effect on the background. So I'm just selecting a neutral color from the background and painting that on, on a different layer. Sometimes what I like to do is go into Blur, Gaussian Blur, and then blur out the whole image. Click Invert and then blend out all that kind of wrinkle effect that I see. One thing to keep in mind when you're doing this effect is that you can get a halo. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go in with the opposite color. So I was painting on white, so you're going to go with a black blending brush and you're going to mask that off. So you're going to take it off wherever you see it's starting to kind of halo and show more. So this is how I extend my backgrounds. If you would like to continue watching, I'm just going to finish off this image by editing it. Just consider this a little bonus. Most of the time if I'm editing indoor photos, I'll use the light and airy action from Paint the Moon. And I will adjust that to taste. Like most actions, all the layers in this action are completely customizable, so what I like to do is just go in and see what fits for each individual image, and then I will go ahead and flatten. I tend to edit more on the warm side, so this image looks a little cool to me. So I'm going to go in that same action set and select Healthy Skin Brush and brush that on the skin and a little bit on the background. A really cool thing about this action is that you can open it up and select the different undertones that are being canceled out so you can customize it to every image. A good tip when working with blacks is if you go into selective color and then you tweak around with the blacks color. Um, you can get a really cool effect. Um, most of the time I just try to bring it back to black. That way it looks more natural. I really don't mind the warmth in the hair so I will just take that off from there and then I will again tweak to taste. So to me, his face looks a little too bright compared to the rest of his body. The window was directly on his face. It wasn't so much on his feet or his lower body, I guess. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going in and burning a little bit on his face and then tweaking that.
Another one of my favorite action sets is the paint box set by Aaron Toll Photography. It contains a bunch of dreamy like fades and creamy little actions to put over your image. I am obsessed with it. As much as I love this hazy look, I'm just going to brush it a little off his jammies just so I can get that rich black back. If you haven't noticed, one of my favorite actions is the white and yellowed eyes from Greater Than the Gatsby. And then, of course, I'm going to go in and run bright and baby brown eyes. Now I'm just going to run rosy cheeks all over his cheeks and lips. Now I'll be running creamy skin smoothening. Now we're just going to flatten all those actions. Let's go down and select paint on sharpness. And here you have our before and our after. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. See you on the next one.